We're asked to find the mass of the plane region in the first quadrant inside the circle centered at the origin with a radius of five and outside the circle centered at the origin of radius three if the density function is rho of x comma y equals x y. So I've already graphed the region R on the coordinate plane and the mass is equal to the double integral over the region R of the density function which is rho of x comma y equals x y differential A. However, because our region is between two circles, we will use polar coordinates to determine the mass. To do this, we'll have to write x times y in terms of r and theta, and differential A is equal to r dr d theta. So this is equal to the double integral of x is equal to r cosine theta, y is equal to r sine theta, dA is equal to r dr d theta. And now looking at the region r, the limits of integration for r are going to be from three to five between the two radii of the circles. And then the angle theta is going to be from zero radians to pi over two radians. And let's go ahead and clean up the integrand function. Let's write the integrand function as r cubed cosine theta sine theta. And now I'll begin by integrating with respect to r, treating theta as a constant, which gives us r to the fourth divided by four times cosine theta times sine theta, or one fourth r to the fourth cosine theta sine theta. And now we need to find big F of five minus big F of three by performing substitution for R. When R is equal to five, we had one fourth times the fourth power of five times cosine theta sine theta. And then when R is three, we have minus one fourth times the fourth power of three times cosine theta sine theta. And since one fourth times five to the fourth minus one fourth times three to the fourth is equal to 136, this simplifies to the integral from zero to pi over two of 136 cosine theta sine theta d theta. And now we integrate with respect to theta. We'll have to perform u substitution here. Let's let u equal sine theta And therefore, differential u is equal to cosine theta d theta. Which means in terms of u, we'd have the integral of 136. If sine theta is u and cosine theta d theta is du, we just have u du. And therefore, the antiderivative is 136 times u squared divided by two, or 136 times one half u squared, which would be one half times the square of sine theta. Simplifying, we have 68 sine squared theta as the antiderivative. And now we need to find big F of pi divided by two minus big F of zero, which is equal to 68 times sine squared pi over two minus 68 times sine squared of zero. Well, sine pi over two is equal to one. One squared is one. 68 times one is 68. And sine zero is zero, and therefore sine squared is zero is zero. The final result is a mass of 68. I hope you found this helpful.